everybody else is the floor. It was the makeup artist. Nigga, it was your son. It was your other son. It was your son, baby mama. It was your other son, baby. Pussy. Now you see how this shit feel? Here a motherfucker you raised. Talk about it giving us the benefit of the doubt. Nigga, you are you kids are the benefit of the fucking doubt. You wasn't raised in the 70s. You won't know nothing about crack, the projects, and none of that shit we went through. Fucking stop playing with us. We benefit give us the benefit of the fucking doubt. And then you got these weird ass internet parents talking about we ain't raised the motherfuckers right. Use a motherfucking lie. These kids got ride to school, lunch, money, picked up, dropped off, SAT, private school. Fuck out of here. Here she go again, trying to involve herself in every goddamn thing, bro. If all three of your kids saying the same thing, maybe it's you. Because so many parents, and this goes back generation after generation, so many parents would do messed up things in their kids' lives and think, just because they raised them, they perfect or they don't have to apologize for none of the trauma, none of the bullshit they put their kids through. Like, that's real, especially in the black community. I know other like races go through it, but in the black community, I know for a fact because I'm black. You know what I'm saying? So mothers would do certain things, say certain things and say, respect me, respect me. No, you have to give respect to give respect. I don't care if you my mama, my daddy, my grandma, my cousin, my older uncle. I don't care who you are. If you treat me messed up or you're not taking accountability, especially if I'm coming to my mom like, look, it's not fair how this or you should never said this or when we was growing up, you did this. If you ain't taking no accountability, I don't got no words for you. Now she's trying to come up with this bullshit as reality show, trying to get her sons and daughter to be in it. But she ain't trying to pay nobody, but trying to hurt everybody to act a goddamn fool. She trying to pocket all the goddamn money. That's what her other son, Dre, said. And now she want to come out and say, you ungrateful kids, this and that. The difference between her and Boosie is, Boosie always took care of his kids. Spoiled them, splurged on them, and everything. You know what I'm saying? In this situation, Blueface is the breadwinner. And according to Blueface's brother, when he first got on and started making real money, she was like, I need this, I need a car, I need all this shit. So, so all that shit that she was saying before, I never asked myself for nothing. I never, that's a goddamn lie. Because Dre was like, all you did was blow him up trying to get shit from him. I just don't see how her goddamn husband is with this. He must like airhead, clueless ass bitches. He must like it because that voice will get annoying, bro. After five minutes, I'm telling you. What y'all think about this, boy? We